this is not a lost season, especially now that they've that they pulled the plug and, and I think brought in a a whether better or not a coach more suited to the job. Do the Bucks win the title this year? No. I mean, no. obviously the choice is the field, but do you yeah. see a scenario like can they pull this off? Oh, they. I mean, they have. A, I mean, they, they're they were drawing dead before, and they're and they got a chip in a chair now. Yeah, they have like, chances. Yeah, their so, chances I mean, I think, improve. But I think are they the? Would I have them in the top three or four teams that that are likely to win the title? I don't think so. I think, I think that I would have. I mean, I haven't thought of it in this way before now, but I think I would have Boston, Philly, the Clippers, and Denver all. All I don't know about, but all favorites over them. I mean, who do I think is more likely to win the championship between them and OKC? That's a, I mean, that's a, um, like I think the experience factor goes to, goes to, uh, Milwaukee, but I think from a talent and, um, you know, uh, Mark Daniels is, is, is unproven as a playoff coach, but I think we think extremely highly of him as a coach. I think in a playoff coaching adjustment situation, I think we'd probably, lean OKC that way also. So I think, but at the same time, there's still a team you have to account for in, in, in that calculation. I yeah. would, I would uh, go, hold on. I would say this barring a trade. I think they'd be in the top, uh, uh, that they would be out of the top four as Seth was talking about what I would say. If, I want to, I would make sure Seth hears this part here for a second, you know, <laughs> We had an alarm going off in the background, so we had to go fix it. And that. it was driving me nuts. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. was kind of a creepy way, as if like a creepy music sort of thing as Seth was talking. And I was like looking over my shoulder thinking somebody was about to kill me. Um, in this the, like aromatherapy hotel room that has like funny music and lights and like orange blossoms in the shower. Football just does things so much differently yeah. than, than yeah. basketball. But I wanted to say this. I totally disagree with you in the OKC versus Milwaukee thing. Listen, as great as OKC is, there's a lot of unprovenness of them in the playoffs. Like, they're awesome. I got to watch them, and I'll be honest with you, they struggled against the Clippers. They got beat by the Lakers twice. Like, the way I look at them, like, I know it's kind of the lull of the season and whatnot. I would put Milwaukee ahead of them. Not saying OKC doesn't have a chance, but I'm just saying Milwaukee's chance has got to be higher than OKC if we're looking at comparing those two championship odds, but you're right. And they're out of the top four right now, barring a trade where they can bring in a guy like Caruso or something like that. 